Hey there guys and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode we caught Remoraid as our sixth and final Pokemon and I guess now we're gonna go and challenge the gym. Should be- Ah oh, crap it's him again. What do you want now? Didn't I just see him somewhere? I'm always gonna plow into you, you know, buffing up your Pokemon and test- Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so he challenges you a battle and there's no way you can say no, so I better hope you healed for this. Pretty sure I did. Alright, Staravia. Still not a Staraptor? Come on, dude, step it up. I guess he did step up his leveling. I mean, jeez. Anyway, Rotom should make short work of this. Shockwave. Pretty sure he should learn Discharge fairly soon. Or at least a better electric move. Still goes down in one hit, though, so no biggie there. And am I gonna get good experience? No, I am... Oh, yeah. It's because Remory does the XP share. Really still a Bweasel? I'm pretty sure that thing should have evolved a long time ago. Anyway, Bweasel is not a threat at all. Easy one-hit KO, just like Staravia. I wonder if the rest of his team still sucks like the... Oh, that critical hit was not necessary, Rotom. Don't overkill the Bweasel there. Anyway, Monferno. Yep, still not an Infernape. Dude, my starter is a Torterra already. Get with the program. Alright, Staravia. I guess I could give Remoray to go, but he's still a little under-leveled. Oh, come on, I'm pretty sure Monferno evolves at that level. That's bullshit, guy. I forgot his name. Anyway, let's go fly. I guess I could go for Aerialist, but I'm not sure that's going to be a one-hit KO, actually. Because Staravia is not all that strong. But fly should easily do in the Monferno. No problem there. Oh shit, actually lives. Uh, I don't have Quick Attack anymore, so that could be a problem. He did use Leer on me. Come on, Staravia. Nice. And that's a Blaze Boosted Flame Wheel too. Anyway, Aerialist, wrap this up. Hmm, I guess that 6 level difference really does help when it comes to surviving attacks. And Roselia. Oh, that's his final Pokemon already. Alright, Staravia can easily deal with that one. Clearly you reach your Pokemon to be tough. And you raised your Pokemon to be... Ah, uh, anything but tough, really. Nice, Aerial is one hit KO. That's Roselia's pathetic physical defense for you. And remember at level 23. And f Oh, come on, Focus Energy. Are you kidding me? No, he does not need to learn Focus Energy. Stop telling me I lost? Yes, do I still need to tell you that? You should be getting used to it by now. Yeah, because I'm careless. And he's Mr. Wake's apprentice. He went his own theme song. I need a theme song. Someone make me a theme song. Or something. I must have, like, a composer in my audience. Anyway, heal up the Pokemon because I was gonna challenge the damn gym and he ruined it for me. Then again... Staravia was really the only one who took any damage, and I don't think Staravia is going to be all that helpful in the gym anyway. Anyway, we have... I guess Porygon 2 also needs to level up a bit. Because he's still kind of lagging behind. And he does have Shockwave, so he is going to be at least somewhat useful against all the water types. Alright, hello! Gym full of wooden boards and water. And some sort of weird water puzzle where you have to raise and lower the water to get through the gym. Why do you think to work out? Wait, he's a kid. Why the hell would he be working out? Pretty sure kids aren't actually supposed to, you know, work out that much. And anyway, I be barrel. Look at that stupid look on his face. And I get an attack boost. Come on, Porygon 2, that's not the right one. Oh well. See how this goes. And yeah, Bee Barrel is here because it is a normal and water type. Bee Doof is pure normal, but it gains the water type upon evolving. I guess it kind of makes it stand out from, I don't know, Radicate, Ferret, Linoon. But it doesn't make it suck any less. It's still pretty damn awful. Anyway, come on, Shockwave. Should do him in. Yeah, 2 hit KO. Hmm, not too shabby, Porygon 2 isn't the strongest Pokemon there is. Experience is absolutely pitiful, though. Hell, even... 
Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that Staravia and the Roselia gave me a lot more. Anyway, go through here and up here, and there's a fisherman. Uh, you don't really have to battle that fisherman, but it's not going to be an, an, a hard fight. It's a free experience, so why the hell should I refuse it? Alright, let's go, buddy. Fisherman Walter with his Whiskash. Oh, Porygon 2 is not going to like that one. And again, special attack. Okay, maybe I can make this work. See what Signal Beam does. Maybe I'll get a Confusion hacks on him. Oh, that's quite bad. Magnitude 5.0, oh, that's also quite bad. And that's a critical hit right there. How impressive. Luckily, Porygon 2 still has Recover. So, screw you, Whiskash, I'm healing. And Magnitude 7. Oh, he's stepping up his game. Still pretty weak. Alright, another Signal Beam. Come on, Porygon 2, I'm placing my trust in you. This is your chance to shine. Although he, he kind of shined in the previous gym as well. I was not expecting Porygon 2 to kick as much ass in the fighting gym that he did. I mean, he just Psybeam sweeping stuff left and right. Kind of crazy. Anyway, Magnitude 7. Again, he is not getting lucky with that move. Magnitude 8, 9, or 10 could really wreck me, but 7... No, it's not just it's not gonna happen. Especially not if I can just keep on healing. Magnitude 5. Oh, and now he's getting weaker again. Look at that. That did like, what, 10 damage? Anyway, knock him out already. And I couldn't go for Shockwave. Oh, crap, he's not dead. Uh, Water Pulse is not gonna do anything, though. Because Westcash is not a special attacker. Actually, I don't know what it's... It's special attack is definitely lower than it's physical attack, but I don't know by how much. No one ever really uses Whiskash, so I really don't know that much about it. All I know is it's probably one of... The, probably the worst water and ground type Pokemon there is. Swampert is a lot better. Gastrodon is a lot better. I think even Quagsire might be better. Poor Whiskash, overshadowed by so many things. Anyway, Sailor Guy. Shouldn't you be out on the ocean somewhere? On a boat? Surrounded by sperm whales and seamen? Sailor Damien? Oh, Wing Hollow oh, Porygon 2 will easily deal with that one. Quadruple weakness to electric is not a good thing to have against my Porygon 2, especially not if he gets a special attack boost. And that is gonna do nothing. 10. It's about as much as that magnitude did. Alright, Shockwave. Easily I want hit KO because Wingle has about the the sturdiness of tissue paper. I would say that's an apt comparison. And Pelipper, ooh, Wingle's Evolve form. Pelipper is decently bulky, but it still has that quadruple electric weakness. I don't see it faring a lot better than the Wingle did. Come on, Shockwave. Shockwave sure has a long ass animation. Alright, Pelipper, let's see what you got. Yeah, that's about what I expected to happen. Good job, Porygon 2, you're really kicking ass already. I'm not even using my electric or grass types yet. Rotom and Torterra can just sit this one out, I guess. If I can just use Porygon 2 to get through the gym, and then I probably won't even have to go back and heal for the gym leader, because I'll still have Rotom and Torterra waiting in the wings just fine. Uh... Crap, I don't think I was supposed to step on that orange switch. Yeah, I totally messed the puzzle up and I have to do it again. So go here, hit the blue one, flood the place, and do not step on the orange one. I beat him already, okay, now this one. Why are kids being employed as gym trainers? At least I'm assuming the gym trainer is a paid position. Or something. Also, Azuril is not a water type. Get that non water type out of the water type gym. I never understood what the hell was up with that. Why is Azuril a normal type when its evolved forms are water types? And I guess also fairy types in X and Y. And then again, Azuril is also fairy type, so normal and fairy turns into water and fairy. And Azumeril. So what, we're just skipping Meryl altogether now? Anyway, I don't think Porygon 2 really has the juice to take on Azumarill. So let's give Rotom a go. Alright, Azumarill. 
it kind of has a creepy facial expression. Okay, let's see what Leaf Storm does. It doesn't get stabbed though, because Rotom is still electric and ghost in this generation. Such a... Ah, damn it. If Rotom was electric and grass, that would have KO'd. Oh, well, roll out. That's not going to do much. Alright, Shockwave. Wrap this up. And... Wait, I think she did have three Pokemon, so maybe the third one is a Meryl. She's just not playing them in the correct order. You make decent experience, I'm guessing. Remoraid is still not leveling up, and Meryl. Mm, Torterra, maybe? Or Porygon 2? Yeah, let's give Torterra a go for this one. Because he hasn't really done all that much. I don't think I've even used Torterra once since I evolved him. Looking at his experience bar, no I did not. Alright, Razor Leaf. Easily a one-hit KO. Because it's a freaking Torterra. It's the powerhouse of my team right now. I should probably te try and teach it Wood Hammer as soon as possible, though. To do, do to do that, you need a hard scale, which I don't think I have at the moment. So that might be a problem somewhere down the line. Uh, do I want... Porygon 2 is kind of getting tired, or not that much health anymore, so I guess we'll put Rotom front. He's landed the most fish Pokemon in the world. So I'm guessing he's in the Poke Guinness Book of World Records. Most Pokemon caught through fishing. And yet all he has is three. And apparently they're all Goldeens or Sea Kings, I'm guessing. Knowing the pattern of all these gym trainers. Oh well, Shockwave, one hit KO. You know the drill by now should not come as any surprise anymore. See? At least Rotom's gonna get to level 31 now. Maybe he'll learn a new move. I'm hoping. Decent move, maybe? Or not? Remoraid still not leveling up. Ooh, Gyarados. At least that's good experience. Remoraid can definitely use that. Alright, let's go, Gyarados. Pretty sure Rotom outspeeds in one-hit KOs, though, because it's still a Gyarados. Quadruple weakness to electricity means it won't be surviving any. Yeah, yep, knew it. Poor Gyarados. I'm guessing the Mega Gyarados's typing of Water Dark is a big improvement. Then again, I don't, I don't really know what the general consensus is on Mega Gyarados, whether it's awful or not. Anyway, Seeking. At least he did kind of break my expectations. I was expecting him to have like a Goldeen, another Goldeen, and a Seeking, but he only had one Goldeen and a Gyarados. Huh. Okay, I guess Seeking is decently bulky, maybe. I don't really know all that much about Seeking stats, because who gives a shit about Seeking? It's one of the worst Water-type Pokemon there is. Still, still beats Luminion, but Seeking is definitely down there. Anyway, more experience for Remoraid. Defeated Fisherman Eric. And number one does not mean a damn thing in the world. Oh! It's evolving already? That's rather early. I thought it evolved at like level 30 or something. Uh, not that I mind. Maybe now it can actually hold its own in battle. Anyway, yeah. Little weird fish thing evolved into an octopus. Don't know what's up with that either. Pretty sure... That the octopus is not really related to the standard fish. Anyway, it immediately wants to learn Octazooka, which is kind of its signature move. But it's just as strong as Bubble Beam. It's 15% less accurate. Well, I guess it still beats Lock-On, but I... Don't think I'll be using Octazooka all that much. It's like... Why have it be inferior to a crappy move like Bubble Beam? Alright, hit this switch. Uh, actually, was I? No, you're not supposed to do that because then you're trapped there. You're supposed to hit that one. Then why even have that one over there? What purpose does that serve? Just to stall people for like two more seconds? Uh, I think Rotom was still up front, so shouldn't be a problem. That's just how I roll. I bet you do. Alright, uh, calling Wingle. Seems to be the preferred. Yup. Wingull is definitely the preferred water type among sailors. I am kind of shocked that I have not seen a single Tentacool in this gym yet. Pretty sure Tentacool is in the regional decks for Sinnoh. 
but surprisingly it hasn't shown up yet. Also, no shallow Sargasteron yet. That's also that's a new water type. You'd totally be expecting that in the Oh, now of course as soon as I call as soon as I say that, Shallow shows up. Knew it. Maybe his final Pokemon will be Gastrodon then? Or Pelipper. Gastrodon or Pelipper, that's what I'm guessing. Let's see if my prediction skills will come through yet again. Anyway, Shellos easily goes down. Poor thing. Artillery gets some experience and... Oh, Golduck. That's kind of out of nowhere. I guess Golduck is a water type that's in the Sinnoh decks. But we haven't even seen a Psyduck in the gym anywhere. Oh well. Not complaining, it's better than a, another, another freaking Pelipper. Confusion, that shouldn't do much. Torterra is champ at tanking stuff. Alright, go down, Golduck. Come on. Aww. Then again, Razor Leaf is not a particularly powerful move. It only has a base power like 55. If only I had Wood Hammer. Base power 120. Torterra would be wrecking shit left and right. Then again, the recoil would kill him off rather quickly. But still, it's a lot better than Razor Leaf is. It's not really... they don't really have much of a, an option in between. Like, there is Seed Bomb, which is a base power 80 grass move without recoil. So it's definitely in the middle between Razor Leaf and Wood Hammer. But... It's not really... Torterra can't get it until after the Pokemon League because it's a move tutor on... It is a move tutor move, but it's in a region that you don't get to go to until you beat the Pokemon League. So yeah, let's go crash your wake, you weird sumo wrestler guy you, Gyarados. Shouldn't be a problem, although Porygon 2 is not really in battling shape right now. At least I get a special attack boost. Waterfall, oh crap. It's not supposed to know that, it's an HM move. Damn you cheating gym leader. Oh shit. Why didn't I go back and heal again? The hell was I thinking? Alright, Rotom, you're up. Please don't have crunch. Nice. They should totally do in Gyarados. I've yet to see a Gyarados survive my Rotom shockwave. And I don't think I'll see one in this lifetime. Nope. Expectations are met. Alright, good experience. Octillery, level 26. I don't think Octillery is going to be making his battling debut in this episode. Ooh, Floatzel. Uh, that might be a bit of a problem. Alright, I guess that's up for Torterra. I mean, hell, Grass type, Floatzel's not going to stand a chance. Oh, that's pretty high leveled. Oh, shit, it has an ice move. That's a quadruple effective move on Torterra. That is not good. I should have known that. Damn it. Okay, we might have a problem here. Staravia, Intimidate, weaken that thing. I'm not expecting Staravia to beat it. I'm just expecting Staravia to at least lower its attack and then maybe deal some damage before dying. Oh, boy. Let's see how much this does. Come on. Okay, at least it lives. Fly. Alright, let's do this. Actually, do, did I still have Endeavor on Staravia? Because that could have definitely come in handy in a situation like this. Come on, fly. Holy shit, that's pitiful. Brine. Okay, so it has Aqua Jet, Brine, Ice Fang, but still no idea on what its fourth move is. Alright, uh... Rotom would be the best option, I guess. Or, let's give Octillery a go. See how he fares. I don't expect him to do anything. Okay, Crunch. Great. Super effective on Rotom. I don't like where that's going. But let's see how much Psybeam does. Ah, oh, crap. Of course it has a healing berry. Just when I thought I was getting anywhere. Crunch again. Come on, Octillery. You're not making a very good first debut here. At least get some confusion with Psybeam or something. I would really, really applaud that right now. Aqua Jet. It's probably gonna kill too. Yep. Octillery's defense is not really that good. 
plus it's 11 levels lower. Give it a break. Alright, Rotom. I really hope Rotom can survive a crunch, because if he doesn't, I am screwed. Come on, Rotom. You're my last hope. Nice. Alright, Shockwave, this has to kill it. This really, really has to kill it. Come on. Yes. Awesome. <sighs> okay, what's his final Pokemon? Hoping it's something that Rotom can easily deal with. Oh, Quagsire, perfect. One Leaf Storm will blow that thing right out of here. Alright, Rotom, come on, let's do this. Leaf Storm, get me the... Ah, oh, fuck. Come on, Rotom. Live, live, live. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, game. Damn it. Okay, who do I have left? Uh, is Gabite really the only one I have left? I'm not really taking the chances here. Quagsire might have an ice move. Gabite will not like an ice move. So I'll have to use a revive on someone. What the hell is he doing with Water Pulse? Okay, uh... I guess we'll have Gabite whittle it down a little. See how much Earthquake does. I'm not expecting it to do overly much. Nah, it's about what I expected. Much shot. Why does that Quagsire have such awful moves? And why is it still doing that much damage? Quagsire is not a special attacker. At least Gabite still outspeeds it after the speed drop. So that's not that bad. I've got that going for me, which is nice. Come on, Gabite. Nah, Gabite's going down. He's not gonna take another one of that. Yep. Alright, who did I revive? Who's gonna win it for me? It's Rotom, I'll give him a second chance. Come on, Rotom, don't fuck this up. This is where it gets exciting. Yeah, it sure does. Alright. Nah, I guess Ominous Wind makes sense. It can't miss. Quagsire's special defense is not that good. But yeah, that was uh, probably the most challenging gym battle yet. Damn, it was too close. If I didn't use the revive there, I probably would have lost. And we get the Fen Badge, that's badge number 5. Alright, and we get a TM from him as well. And we can use Surf now. Which I'm pretty sure we'll get like right after this somewhere and we get a TM for Brine which is a pretty decent move I guess if your target has less than half of its HP remaining it does double damage it has 65 base power on its own so if the target has less than 50% remaining it'll have a staggering base power of 130 and I'm getting rid of Octazooka for it because Brine is better in every way anyway I was really close, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Platinum. I have no idea what we're going to do. I'm guessing we're just going to go towards gym number 6. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.